Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be episode two of Surviving Mars. Uh, I've uh, decided to call this uh, series Inventive India, uh, mostly because we drew India as a sponsor and an inventor commander for the mission. Yeah, creative, isn't it? Anyway, uh, it's been a little while since I did the first part and I've kind of forgotten where where we're at here uh, so I see I've uh, set up the uh, basic fueling I've got three rockets littering the planet and a drone hub uh, and a full storage for uh, metals okay so first thing I'm gonna do is make another storage for metals and then uh, well let's uh, start the clock moving uh, and then I'm going to uh, get back on onto uh, uh, planning for um, well colonists because well that's kind of the point of the uh, game right uh, anyway uh, right uh, oh yes uh, and uh, what are we researching uh, we're researching fuel compression. Um, okay, let's... Um, nope, that's the wrong one. This here. Uh, okay, fuel compression means we can bring larger cargo rocket... Uh, larger amounts of cargo in. Uh, the transport optimization is great. Um, yeah. Project Molehole, right. That's what we are uh, working toward. Good. Uh Right. Zoom back in here. Uh, right. So uh, what I, I need to do is build up quite a lot of uh, resources in order to build Project Mohole. It's a wonder and it is, uh, well, it'll really uh, change the balance of the game if if I can get Mohole online early. Anyway, uh, what do we... What do we need here to uh, get colonists in? Well, we need a dome, and uh, we also need, uh, well, we need more water, and we need uh, oxygen. Uh, and uh, that means we need to build uh, moxie, and we need some storage for uh, water and, uh, and oxygen. So... Uh, but we don't have any actual water deposits here, which means we actually need to uh, build a couple of more vaporators. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to need uh, vaporators. Uh, so... Uh, Oh, we have hygroscopic coatings, so I should at least install that. Uh, do we have a? We don't have any rockets that are uh, that are ready to launch, so uh, we can't send a rocket back to Earth just yet. Uh, so I'm going to up the tempo here uh, and uh, get the uh, get things rolling here. Uh, there isn't much point building the uh, dome or the uh, moxie uh, or water infrastructure until we can actually uh, su support it, uh, which means either finding a uh, water deposit that we can exploit, uh, which we don't have any of, or uh, getting a, a few more vaporators online. And with vaporators, we absolutely need to have uh, water storage because they don't run during dust storms. And uh, uh, if we don't have water storage, then, well, our colonists will be thirsty and they'll die of dehydration. Uh, what I want to check here... Oh, we found an anomaly. So let's, uh, let's send the explorer there. Now, what I want to check on is, uh, okay, yeah, 
we haven't uh, no planetary anomalies have appeared so not much point holding back a rocket to deal with those uh, this rocket uh, is going to be able to take off soon. I will send it back to Earth uh, right away. And the reason for doing that is then I have a rocket there to collect supplies. Uh, I kind of want to pick up uh, at least a another vaporator. Because uh, now we can produce 50% uh, more water with these. So, uh, yeah, we could get a milestone but uh, by building a dome first. But I don't see the need to hurry that because it does cost maintenance, right? Uh, right, so transport optimization is uh, still underway. Uh, so what, um, okay, I also need to uh, get some uh, uh, funding online. Uh, that means uh, rare metals. Uh, that's kind of the other reason I want to get Mohole online. Uh, which milestone? Construct a dome, right. Uh, and we got a dust storm coming. Uh, so... Uh, let's clear the message and uh, right is this one this is ready to take off so I will launch the rocket uh, that gets us a milestone uh, you can't launch a rocket during a dust storm so uh, you also can't land a rocket uh, supply pods you can though uh, but a supply pod is a single use uh, um, uh, tool and you kind of don't want to uh, use those unless you really have to. Okay, so while uh, I'm waiting for things to happen, I should figure out where I'm going to put the, put the dome. Now, I've got metal deposits over here uh, what's this? A research site. Uh, so I have metal deposits and concrete over here. Not much. Uh, this one, not much. Uh, so there's concrete over there. These are uh, reasonably lucrative metal deposits. Uh, we have surface metals there, so I could, um, I suppose, I could, uh, I could put the dome up here. Uh, I kind of wanted to put it near rare metals, but if we can get Moho online, that won't matter. Uh, but I want it relatively close to the uh, rest of the colony as well. So, uh, I guess a good question uh, is uh, what does it cost and what domes do we have? So, a medium dome needs 96 concrete, 40 metals, and 16 polymers, and is two polymer maintenance. Okay. Well, if I'd waited, I could have uh, explored an anomaly. Um, Right, and it needs two water and two oxygen just for the dome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna be building one of those because it gives enough space to uh, to build everything. Uh, oh, and we've got a meteor storm coming as well. Uh, yay! Uh, right. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, has our our rocket made it to Earth? Yeah, it has. Uh, so uh, we'll grab a moisture vaporator. Uh, do I want two of them? I do. 
Okay. Uh, I can get by without those things. Uh, now, uh, I can grab, well, a couple, some more polymers just is probably a good call there. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good call. Because uh, I can make do without... Uh, well, polymers are relatively easy to produce. No, but you need colonists first, so yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I need those for battery maintenance as well. Okay. Uh, so I'll launch that. Uh, and look at all that fancy dust we have going, right? So we're at a low elevation here, so we get more uh, more dust. Uh, we lost a drone. Uh, huh. Well, we'll we'll salvage the destroyed drone, obviously. Oh, it was a, a meteor. Okay. Uh, right. So I'm not sure... Well, we're going to have to wait for the dust storm to uh, end before, uh, before we can land a rocket. Right. Uh, yeah, well, the, uh, the fuel refinery is not doing anything on account of uh, not having any... Um, uh, water. Uh, we didn't get the first dome, but I wasn't even aiming for that. Uh, and they've even called colonists. Now, it's only Sol 11, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, how's this, uh, how's this uh, coming along here? Uh, we definitely need to get more science going as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is going to go slow uh, without the uh, uh, the science. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, so that'll have to be one of the things that I uh, get going relatively quickly when the uh, when I get some uh, colonists here who can actually do research. Ah, we have. Um, Right, we have uh, uh, rare, rare metals on uh, the one rocket. So when when it can be uh, launched, I forgot about that. Uh, right, because an anomaly gave us uh, the uh, rare metals. Right, so uh, yeah. So this is one of the things about the early game for surviving Mars. There tends to be uh, a fair bit of waiting, especially if you uh, uh, don't do uh, things quite in the order that maybe you should. Now we've we've got to wait for another uh, Sol before we can land our rocket, and uh, that's going to be uh, somewhat important. Uh, getting that rocket here then well I can uh, start the dome construction I think uh, do I want to put it there well yeah I think I do there would be probably about as good as anywhere else uh, well, it's in range of that metals deposit, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got a, a meteor storm underway. Dust storm is not done yet. Uh, we found an anomaly. So if I send the explorer over there, uh, maybe... Uh, Uh, maybe it won't get clobbered. Uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, slightly uh, annoying, uh, this uh, uh, meteor storm. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, right. Uh, Dust storm. Ten hours left. Uh, when that uh, finishes, uh, then I'll be able to. Uh, well, let's see. Where's it going to hit? Oh, okay. Uh, right. So uh, meteor storms are particularly annoying. Uh, there, and there's nothing you can do about them until much later in the tech tree where you get, uh, you know, lasers that can shoot them down. Also, uh, when you get terraforming far enough underway, it uh, reduces uh, the uh, meteors as well. Okay, so we got... Uh, and we're ten percent into Mohol, uh, right? Uh, the dust storm is done, so let's land our rocket now. Uh, this is back online, right? So. Uh, Oh, I, I picked up a bunch of moisture vaporators when I uh, set up the mission. Right, I forgot about that. So, uh, I'm going to... What just got hit? Wow. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, pick up some drones. Uh, right, this is a particularly nasty meteor storm. Uh, it's been... We got unlucky with this one, uh, with it... Um, hitting us uh, right uh, uh, right where our colony actually is. Uh, that's uh, particularly nasty. Uh, although it has been dropping some resources, it's uh, not been the best uh, scenario. Uh, and there's still 20 hours left. Uh, so, okay, so what I should be doing here is uh, connecting up the pipes. I keep trying to use right-click to scroll the map. Uh, and it's really annoying that that doesn't work. Okay, so... Uh, we need a pipe here. And a pipe here, and a pipe here, and a pipe here to connect up the dome. And okay, wow. Uh, this um, meteor storm can't end soon enough here. Uh, right, I also need to connect power up, and I'm going to need more power. Fortunately, I have lots of metals. Uh, right. Now, if you're wondering why I'm putting power cables under the pipes in, uh, in cases here, it's because... Uh, well, I can, and it uh, avoids using up more hexes just to run them. Uh, right. Okay, that can go there, and that can go there. I think that connects everything up. Uh, right. Now, uh, I'm going to need more uh, solar panels. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put this, put solar panels over here. Uh, one, two. So that's 15, 20, 25. And I'll do another row of those here. Solar panels only need metals, uh, which makes them a particularly uh, good option for early power generation. 
but that does mean that you need batteries. Uh, right. Uh, power. I need to connect that to the grid. Okay. Now, what's our power demand? 64. And I've got one, two, well, I've got a battery up there, which I haven't connected to the grid. And I've got a battery over here, which is flat. Uh, so I'll put one, two, so that's, these can deliver 20 each, so that's 80. Okay, so I'll put a bunch of them there. And I should uh, uh, actually link up my power grid here. Uh, yeah, it does mean that I have a bigger chance of a leak due to uh, due to uh, dust storms or a meteor meteor strike or something like that. But it also means that the power can be shared, and that's uh, that's a definite uh, benefit. Uh, okay, so uh, once these batteries can be fully charged, uh, so I, I'm generating 42 extra during the day. Um, why is the dome saying that there's no water? Uh, oh no, it's no, no oxygen. I need to build the moxies. Right. I need a moxie. Uh, right. Okay, so that's under here. A moxie. Um, I guess I'll put it... Um, Yeah, I'll put the moxie right... No, I'll put it away from the dome. Okay, so I'll put the moxie there. Um, I also need to... Whoops. Uh, I need to build an oxygen tank. A couple of them, actually. Uh, so I'll build, I'll build three of them. And I'm going to build also... Uh, water tower, which I'm going to put over here. Now, I'm sure those of you that, uh, no, I'm not going to put it there. Uh, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it over here. Uh, I'm sure uh, there's uh, people that are screaming at me that I shouldn't be putting my stuff so close together. And to them, I say, you probably have a point. But uh, I also uh, have played the game enough times to know that it isn't as big of a uh, critical point as uh, others might uh, make it out to be. Uh, right, so pipes. Uh, you come down here like this. Does that get all of them? I think it does. Okay, so now uh, we're short on polymers, so uh, I, this rocket this rocket I need to send back to Earth uh, and then come back with a stack of polymers. Now uh, I'm going to clean up these drones. Uh, right. Uh, let's uh, get scanning operational, actually. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Uh, and uh, clean up the uh, 
drones that have been destroyed. Uh, since you can't repair them. Uh, okay, so I think I'll have to remember to uh, buy some uh, what, uh, on Earth. But I need to get uh, polymers and uh, machine uh, uh, machine parts uh, so that uh, uh, stuff doesn't start breaking down irreparably. Uh, and I see that uh, I probably need a few more uh, solar panels. Uh, right. So I'm going to... Uh, builds uh, build a few more which I'll stick over here uh, just so that the uh, batteries will uh, charge uh, faster uh, during the day uh, and after uh, say a dust storm or something like that so uh, I'm going to also uh, need to uh, set up uh, living quarters and so on for uh, for colonists, uh, which uh, I'll probably do next time. Uh, so I, you know, I'll, I'll develop the dome next time. So I want to get these uh, uh, storages filled up. Uh, so I actually, no, I want a second moxie, uh, right, uh, which I'm going to stow over here. Uh, right, I'll stick a moxie there. Uh, oh, that's going to need power. Uh, right, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, the rocket has made it to earth so I will get that um, power cord oh it's under power uh, power cord in place like so and then we'll go over here uh, for a cargo rocket and we need uh, basically how much is a drone 30 mil okay uh, okay, so 20 polymer, 15, yeah, I'll uh, grab, uh, no, I can do without the drones, uh, right, but I can't do without the resources. Now, Polymer, yes, that is uh, that is important. Okay, uh, launch. Okay, uh, now uh, I should also get uh, the uh, explorer uh, scanning anomalies. Because, well, that is science, right? So, and we have a cold wave coming, for pity's sake. Uh, right. Uh, so that's three of the uh, disasters all at once. So building those uh, uh, solar panels was actually smart. Uh, right, okay, so we're scanning anomalies. Uh How's uh, storage? So we're doing four oxygen per sol, and uh, water is uh, uh, building slowly. Uh, if I can get the hygroscopic coating on uh, all of them, all of the moxies, that will help. Now, fortunately, cold waves do not stop moxies uh, or uh, uh, vaporators. Uh, so uh, it... Uh, it definitely isn't quite as bad, but it, it freezes water tanks. Uh, so, uh, right. Uh, there, there, was a, there is a mystery, actually, in the game where you end up with a really, 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 really extended cold wave. And that 
almost killed me killed my colony the one time I had that happen so yeah uh, I think it was uh, a mystery anyway so we're 30 percent through project mohole uh, you might be thinking hey you should be you should be uh, researching something else uh, just because, you know, you'll get further ahead. But, no, I, I really want the, uh, the, the rare metals uh, that Mohole produces. But it requires a lot of resources. So uh, I may not be able to build it, but I want to build it as soon as I possibly can. Uh, okay, the rocket's just about here. Now... Okay, you're ready to take off. So, uh, let's see. Huh. Uh, five supply pods. Okay, so what does it need? Oh. <laughs> so, so that was actually kind of good. Uh, <laughs> sometimes those uh, random events are not that terrible. Uh, right. Hey, so now let's launch it. Uh, uh, that, uh, that got us some funding uh, and some supply pods. So... Uh, that's actually not so bad. Uh, anyway, this rocket comes in, and then I'm going to go back to, uh, to Earth. I'm not going to use the supply pods uh, unless I need them. Uh, right. Uh, okay. So, oh, this is a long cold wave at three and, three and a quarter sols. Uh, but uh, we're 72% through uh, Mohol. So that uh, that will uh, uh, make uh, well that'll be uh, yeah I definitely want the cold wave to be done before I bring uh, colonists anyway uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, leave this part here next time around I'm going to be developing the dome and uh, bringing the first wave of colonists in to get the founder stage underway. And then uh, after that, uh, it'll be a question of uh, how the game progresses from there. It'll depend partially on which uh, mystery uh, we ended up with and partially on uh, uh, how the, uh, the colonists develop and what other things happen. Anyway. Uh, that's uh, the second part so far, and uh, well, the colony hasn't collapsed yet, uh, so uh, basically uh, it's going to be a little bit more of the same next time, and it's basically going to uh, continue like this for quite a while. Uh, and this is basically how the game goes, but anyway, uh, before I go, uh, I'm planning to uh, do... Uh, surviving Mars on Tuesdays and Thursdays and uh, a transport fever 2 on Monday Wednesday and Friday uh, at least that's my current plan for scheduling so uh, hopefully that pans out uh, after all I've only been doing these uh, regular videos again for uh, you know a couple weeks anyway uh, that's all for this time uh, see you back uh, tomorrow uh, for uh, Transport Fever 2 and uh, next week for Surviving Mars. That's all for this time. See you next time.